Over and out. <laughs> Welcome everybody here. This is School of the Royal Rulers and the Train Head. Connect to the event. Uh, not now. I'm trying to do this. Um, it says Black Love. Uh, it says video say something. Well, Y'all on here? Can me and Lonnie? Welcome everyone. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know what they're saying right there, but anyway, go on. <laughs> go on, we ain't got nothing for that. I had a title. Uh, what's your function? I had a title. Let's watch the Read the title point. Just title. I had a title. Where's it at? Oh, yeah. You're getting there. <laughs> You're getting there. Video. Ooh, 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 ooh. I said, okay, I'm going to say, I'm going to see where they had a the title, so got to go. Got to go. We got to go. Go, 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 go. go. <laughs> Welcome everybody. This is School of the Royal Rulers in um, online Sundays, 10 a.m. And uh, I gotta go through this every time. Let's get you up here. Okay, let's put you up. All right, all right. Welcome, welcome everyone. This is School of the Royal uh, Rulers. Welcome, glad you're all here. I hope that you got a pen, paper, and and, your, and the word of God with you. So some, um, you never know what I'm gonna say. Uh, let's uh, turn to something in the Bible, even though I have posters up here. So, welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, let me see who all is on here right now. And this is part three of what's your function? How are you functioning as royal rulers? Okay. Um, let's see. This morning we're gonna pray together. So I'm gonna see who all is on here. Let me see. Ask to mute food. All right, Lionel and Kimi, y'all got y'all only one on here now. So we're gonna start with this prayer. Y'all have to say it with me. Come on. It's going to be on the screen. Y'all see it? Yes. We're going to start out with this and I'm getting ready to put it up now. This here says, you are the sons of Elohim. Elohim is another uh, word for God, the creator. All right, Elohim. And y'all see what, what we get ready to read? Mm -hmm. All right, that's uh, we're gonna all read together. Let me make sure everything is y'all do hear me, but you said, mm -hmm, so I guess you do. <laughs> yeah. All right, so let's read it together. This is our this is our prayer to the Father, okay? Our Heavenly Father. So let's say it together, Father, Father it is, it is because of you, you. we live and move and have our being. Mm. We are made in your image. We are sons of Elohim. Intelligent spirit beings. Your kingdom is in us. We are the embodiment of your great kingdom. 
as ambassadors, we represent your whole kingdom, nation. Father, we are good soil as we receive the word of God. The incorruptible seed, seed which, which is, is able, able to save our very soul, which is the accurate knowledge of God. Therefore, our minds are being renewed as we do what we thought we knew is wrong. And this is why and how rivers of water flow from our bellies and we produce 160 and 30 fold according to John 14 12 thus says the Lord if you believe in him we shall do the things that he do even greater things than these we live from the knowledge of elohim not the knowledge of right or wrong which is the more common of the knowledge of good and evil our reference point is the knowledge of god which is not which is not subjective that which means codependence and moral compass but what objective self-existence spirit led you got it yeah That's what objective means self-existent spirit led so you're not codependent you're self-existent spirit led and then let's read the, uh let's pray to the last part to the lord as Christ, everybody's supposed to be praying together. As Christ Jesus is, so are we in this world? We set the captives free, loose the bands of wickedness, according to Luke 14, 18, and 19, Matthew 10, 7, and 8. So be it, and so it is. Amen. Last part right here, Father. Um, let me hear y'all say it a little loud. I can't hear your voice that good. Maybe because I'm saying it too. Um, so uh, that's the last part. We're gonna pray this last part. Father, Father we thank you for the spirit of wisdom Listen and revelation and uh, the knowledge uh, of yourself. Thank, thank you that the eyes of uh, understanding are being enlightened that we may know what is the hope of your calling or stay with me and what is the riches of your glory of your inheritance in the saints and what is the exceeding greatness of your power towards us who being according to the whole i mean according to the working of your mighty power and then uh, just give you the scriptures and it says so be it so be it that's the same thing as amen okay and um ephesians 1 17 and 19 is what we just prayed but you could y'all should read the, the rest of the scripture because it tells you a whole lot about who you are and um what you are in and in Christ and in, in God, okay. All right, so that's when you need to, uh, to read the scriptures so that it shows you who you are. It's, you are in the scriptures, all right. Um, let's move on. This is just a prayer of the sons of Elohim. That's what that's what you are, sons of Elohim. You are the sons of God. Elohim mean God, sons of God. Y'all got that. All right, today we're gonna to break up, and if we have enough people here, and and um, we're gonna break up on the breakout room, and what you're gonna do is answer uh, some questions that I had on what I'm teaching today, and so take notes and pay close attention. All right, because whatever group I break you in, y'all the group uh, that's gonna to have to give me an answer for 
the questions that I'm going to be asking. So pay close attention. Thank you all for being here. Hey, John and Miles, I see y'all. <laughs> Where did Tristan go? He was on here. Where you at, Tris? Hi. I'm here. I'm okay. Okay. How you doing, Tris? Good morning, everybody. Yeah. <laughs> Let's move on to the next thing. So you might want to take some notes so you can answer the questions. Unless you got one of them people that have it in your head. It's good to write the notes down because it stays in your head. It, it's like etching it in your spirit. All right. So if I can get this thing to move. Y'all see, I'm just a baby girl this morning. <laughs> All right, Jill, be still. All right, let me see. All right. If I can get the thing to move. Hold on one minute, y'all. This thing ain't moving. Oh, there you go. And so this is what we're going to be talking about today. Con uh, <laughs> moving buttons. Conjunction, junction. What's your function? Um, and that's the question. What is your function? Function means how you operate. All right, I'm going to ask y'all what that means, baby. All right. Function means how are you operating? How are you operating in the earth according to who you are, your true identity, and your purpose, why you're here, all right? How are you functioning? And we're gonna talk about the different functionings in a little while. And so that word functioning that we have up here, function, this is how the earth was functioning when God created it. And we call it God's orderly arrangement. God's orderly arrangement. And you see up here, somebody can read this up here. It says God's soul. Can you read that for me? It says God saw all that he made. And behold, it was very good. And there was evening and there was morning. The sixth day. Right. So on the sixth day, everything, all this here stuff was made. That's on here. You see trees, food, birds animals okay you see land sea water okay okay you see all those and all that god had made was good and that word good means it all that god had made was functioning okay it was in order see up the top i had god's orderly arrangement uh good that's what it was functioning good that word good means function so everything that god had made was functioning it was perfect it was nothing, never, never, everything God made was nothing, nothing is wrong with what God made. It's function and purpose, right? So until, I have to go through this fast so I can get to what I was going to show you today. Until, because look, um, I think I got that in the wrong order. Until Adam had um, eaten from that, uh, that tree that God had forbidden, uh, from eating from that tree. He said you can have all you can eat all the trees in the garden except for this one. And so when he did that, I'm we're gonna make this a, a long story short. You have to read the word. Cursed is the ground because of you and toil you will eat of it all the days of your life. Before that, the ground used to uh the the, the all the uh, stuff that was in the garden was being watered by what Adam thought. And after that now he has to work hard. He got to toil, right? So all of creation, all for the earnest expectation of the creation, earnestly waits for revealing of the sons of God. And we talked earlier today about you are the sons of Elohim, sons of God. You are the sons of God. So all of creation is waiting for the sons of God to be revealed. Y'all got that? Yes. So everything that God had made was good. It was functioning properly until disobedience in the garden. Y'all got that? Yes. Yeah. All right, good. So, as you can see, Adam was the first, uh, the first Adam failed. And then the second Adam, who was the second Adam? It's right there on the page. Second Adam. Go ahead, John. Is that John? Jesus. Jesus, that's right. The second Adam was Jesus. And see, the first Adam, he failed. The second Adam 
fulfilled what God wanted, had desired from the beginning, okay? So he fulfilled it. And because you are, you and I are in Christ and all is in Christ, Christ is all and all is in Christ. Those who, I'm trying to do this with the baby, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, those who are all in Christ, it says, we now you have been uh, uh, you have been placed back to where God had first placed before Adam had sinned. So now, only way uh, you be cursed or anything, all those things, is because you're doing stuff that's outside of God. Okay. All right, that's what we're talking about. What is what is God? So. So all of creation, when I say all of creation, take notes on this. When I say all of creation, remember in Genesis 2, 7, somebody want to read that for me? I can't, and I know y'all, y'all still with us? Somebody read that Genesis 2, 7. Mm -hmm. Can you read it? Man, um... You want me to read it? Go ahead, baby. We gotta keep moving. Okay. Then the Lord God formed a man from the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life. And the man became a living being. Amen. Thank you. So you're not made from monkeys and you're not all that evolutional stuff. Okay? Y'all see what the word say. Y'all see what the word say? I know that we got school system that's trying to teach us that we made from that stuff, from something tadpoles that came out of water or some apes, but we're not. Okay, y'all see with this right in the word of God, it tells you the truth about who you or uh, how you were made. And so God breathed God's breath, the breath of God in you and me, the, the breathe you do like this in front of you. Put your hand up. Put your hand up right here and breathe on your and breathe on your hand. Can y'all see me? Put your hand up. Put your hand up to your nose. I'll give you a nose. Put your hand to your nose. Everybody put your hand to the nose. Come on. Well, Where you at, Yvette? I can't see you. Oh, no. I just got the kids. I got three children on here, so I can't be on with them. Oh, I know. I'm just saying. Oh, now I can see y'all see where y'all at now. I see. Can you see? Okay. Yeah, I see everybody now. Okay. Okay. All right. So you got your hand up to your face like this. And breathe, you see, you breathe, you breathe on your nose, you breathe on your nose, and you, you, you talk, you feel breath. That is the breath of God. You see mm -hmm. the scripture right here? That's the breath of God in you. So when we say Christ is in all and all in him, that's, we are all in Christ. And so when you breathe, it says the nostril, he says, and God formed, <laughs> God that's a baby. Yes. <laughs> God formed the man from the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life. So when you breathe and when you talk, you breathe in the breath of life. Uh huh. Okay. And man became a living being. So the breath of God is life. Y'all got that? Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. All right. Just wanted to explain that real quick. I don't know. I when I started uh, uh, getting stuff together, the Lord just gave me so much. I just can't get through it all. I'm like, <laughs> so. But I had to show y'all where where this is coming from. So when God made everything, it was all good until the disobedience in the garden. And now that Jesus, the second Adam, who fulfilled what God was wanted desire, was He says now all of creation. Because when God breathed into man, did you know man was part of the creation? Hello? Y'all with me? Man was part of the creation because what did, what did he do? He, he made him out of the what? What did he made him out of? Dirt. Right. The dirt. The dust of the ground. Okay. And so everything that he made was good, right? was functioning properly, right? So when he breathed into us, we were functioning properly. All the ground, the sea, the animals, everything was functioning properly. It was all good until the corruption of disobedience entered in 
and all because of the first Adam, everything was corrupted. Now the second Adam, he brought it back to us so that we can now function the way God intended us. So all of creation is waiting for the sons of God. I told you earlier today, you are the sons of God. So all of creation, where was it? Okay, here we go. Romans 8, 19. For the earnest expectation of the creation eagerly waits for the revealing of the sons of God. And that's who you are, the sons of God, uh, male and female. Okay, y'all got that? Sorry, right? You can write that if you want. Male and female, the sons of God, male and female. I don't know how to write that. Okay. When he said, we're made in his image, the, the likeness of God and after the, his likeness and so therefore it talks about we were made male and female in his image and after his likeness so when I say the sons of God I'm talking about the daughters too okay yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. okay all right so it seems that God is limited by prayer prayer life so he can't do anything for humanity unless someone asks him so that means God, without you, things can't get it done on earth without you, sons of God. That's why you got to be revealed, okay? All the creation is waiting on you, all right? That's why you're here to learn, to be renewed, That's to right. learn of who right. you are, so, so that you can manifest God. God, the original intent for man to be doing on earth. So trust in the Lord. This is the way you, this is the way Pay you attention. pray to God. You trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not to your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him, and he shall direct your path. Oh, here, little girl. <laughs> he will direct your path. So everything. See, God is all in all, so you should need you need to come to him and pray about everything. Your school, your when you go to college, when you when, when you meet somebody, is this the one? You know, and all that stuff. And it, it, is this the way you want me to go? How you want me to do it? What's my what's my uh, right. what's my gifts, Lord? Uh, what, how like when I teach the classes, I ask God, what you want me to teach him? Yes. And so He starts showing me what He wants me to show y'all. So acknowledge him in all your ways so that he will direct your path. So don't lean to your own understanding like Adam did. You understand? Yes. All right. Acknowledge him and he will show you the way that you're supposed to be going. All right. So the curse is on the ground because of you. He's talking. This is God talking to Adam. And he says, painful toil, you will eat of it all the days of your life. It will produce thorns and thistles for you, and you will eat the plain plants of the field. But the sweat by the sweat of your brow, you will eat your food until you return to the ground, since from it you were taken. You hear that? Since from it you were taken from the ground. All right, don't let nobody tell you made out of monkeys and tadpoles. It's for dust you are, and to dust you will return. They say that at, a lot of times at the funerals. So remember, you are... Uh, uh, you, the, you became alive when God breathed into you, to man, okay? Man, is, he's talking about the whole creation, all right, of mankind. So therefore, if anyone, somebody read that one right there. Where the guy got his hands up. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. All things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. Amen. Amen. Yes. So now in Christ, you're a new creation. Okay. All that old stuff that was back when Adam did uh, is passed away. Behold, all things have become new. So now that's why the, all the sons of God need to be revealed so that we can function the way we're supposed to function before uh, the, uh, the, uh, the disobedience in the garden. Of, uh, in the garden. All right. Let's move on. So we're talking about functioning according to your true identity all right it's important you know who you are and why you, why you are here and how you're supposed to be operating so adam was the son of god and so everybody that's you know born after adam is the son okay the sons of god adam was disobedient son of god okay <laughs> when when he disobeyed god so in Luke 3.38, somebody want to read that? 
Come on, kids. Y'all all here. Let's do it. I'll read it. Go ahead. It's not popping up on the screen. You don't see that there? Hold up. All right, I see it. Um, Luke three thirty-eight. Which was the son of Enos? Which was the son of Seth? Which was the son of Adam? Which was the son of God? Adam was what? Hello. Just right son of God. That's right. Thank you. Thank you. What's your name again? She's talking to you. Yes. Talina. Talina, how are you, girl? You're growing up on me. Good. <laughs> <laughs> so, Adam was the son of God. And so today, today, we are the sons of God, okay? Uh, uh, somebody read the other side for me. Reference to Jesus in 1 Corinthians 15, verse 45 says what? I came and answered, are y'all there? I mean, came and Lonnie, you there? Let's go, let's read. I'm taking privileges. Y'all don't participate. I'm taking privileges. The first of Can men. See it? Go ahead. She can't see the whole thing. I probably I need to move the pictures. I can move them. Oh yeah, the pictures, Gabe. You can move the pictures out the way too. I had to move them too. <laughs> yeah, she can read it now. Go ahead. Okay, go ahead, Janina. I can help you. Go ahead. The first men. Man. Man. Adam became a living being. Mm -hmm. The the last Adam Jesus a life mm -hmm. given spirit. You want me to finish reading it? Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Tanya. <laughs> Thanks for trying. I'm going to start from the beginning, okay? okay? The first man, Adam, became a living being. The last Adam, Jesus, a life, a life-giving spirit. The first man was of the dust of the earth. The second man, Jesus, is of heaven. As, as is the heavenly man, Jesus, so also are those who are of heaven. I'm gonna have to put this up. Excuse me, guys. <laughs> can't get it. I've got it. I'm trying to get it to move because I can't see the bottom of it, but I'm gonna okay. try. And just as we have borne the image of the earthly man, Adam, so shall we bear the image of the heavenly man, Jesus. All Is right. It, was it more? Yeah. No, that was it. Okay. <laughs> So the uh, 45 tells you that the first man became a living being when, when God blew in his, to his breath into his nostrils. And then the last Adam is a living, a life-giving spirit. So it's, one is uh, uh, as he breathes into his um, nostrils, that, that first man, and then the second one is a life-giving spirit. So we are in the spirit realm, okay? The first man was the dust of yes. the earth. Right? And then the second Jesus is of heaven. Y'all got that? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Y'all taking notes because we're getting ready to move on. So so that you know part of your identity is very important. That but he who is joined to the Lord is one spirit. Y'all say that with me. One on the count of three. One, two, three. He who is who is Join to the Lord. Join to the Lord. Is, is one spirit. spirit. Right. You are one spirit with the Lord when you join with him. And so God gave us dominion. And unless you become one with him, with God, you cannot become a carrier of his power. Y'all got that? Yeah. Move on. So you are the son of Elohim. And this I had put up here because I was... Some people think they know who they are. And so I put up there, you think you know yourself. And somebody read that, I know who I am. We should all read this together because it's this is uh, talking about us. Uh, so let's say it together on the count of three. One, two, three. Repeat after me. I know who I am. I am an overcomer. 
I exercise, exercise dominion. I exercise dominion over all circumstances, over all circumstances and situations. And situations that do not, do not, do not align itself. Align itself with God's perfect will. With God's perfect will for my life. For my life. <laughs> so I am a winner. I am winning. Winner. I am. I am reigning every day. I am reigning every day because the great one. Great one. Great one. Lives in me. Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. Right? <laughs> you are a winner, okay? So know these things about yourself. Don't care what nobody else says. You are a winner. You, are right. winner. you exercise dominion. And when you it says a winner. That's right. When it says I am I am reigning every day, that means you are ruling. So you when you when you rule every day, you are exercising your dominion. That's what dominion is. Ruling. You are a ruler. Okay. So when I'm come, <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna skip one down to where I need to be at, and so that we can go on about which how you function. Right? Function versus malfunction. You saw what the malfunction happened in the garden, right? What happened with the malfunction in the garden? Anybody? Malfunction means it's not working or it's, it's messed up. Functioning means God is everything God made is good, okay? So he's functioning the way God made you. All right? Let's hear a little bit first. Do I have, this is a person, this is a chart on malfunctioning. So I'm at, these are some questions that I'm going to ask. I would I have executive okay. functioning disorder. Explain, okay, you might have executive functioning disorder if, here goes some, if you have disorder, all right? I'm going to show you the order though. You have trouble maintaining a planning or agenda for recording assignments, okay? So when you hear, the, do you have trouble uh, recording assignments, like writing down notes? You have trouble planning long-term projects that often oh, okay. at the last minute. Do you, do you have trouble? Oh, okay. your, I, can't okay. your, I can't hear y'all talking. Y'all interrupting uh, with everybody listening. Do you have trouble keeping your bedroom and book bag organized? Do you have a hard time estimating how long a task or project will take? You have trouble keeping appointments. You have trouble starting your homework independently. That means without somebody have to tell you, okay? You have trouble transitioning from one task to another. Do you have trouble listening and following multi-steps directions? You have a hard time keeping track of your possessions and often lose important material. This is the person, this is if you're just operating, functioning disorderly, all right? So, did anybody hear anything that sound like that might be you? You don't have to answer that, okay? <laughs> I don't put nobody on, on, the, on the line here. So, I'm going to break y'all up in about five minutes, all right? Here's the functioning part right here. This is what executive functioning means. That's why I said take notes, because you can't keep all this in your head. So, write down something, okay? <laughs> so, function, executive functioning is impulse. Number one is impulse control. Thinking before you acting. Number two, emotional control. You keep feelings in check. You have feelings, so keep them in check. All right? Don't ignore your feelings. Just keep them in check. Uh, flexing thinking, flexible thinking. James 1, 19 and 20 tells you that uh, flexible thinking is, uh, how that go? It says, he didn't, uh, was quick to hear, slow to speak, and slow to anger. That's flexible thinking. So you might hear something that might jerk you a little bit, but if you be quick to hear it and slow to speak, then you can be led by the spirit. Now, adjusting behavior, to, uh, and, that, and that would be adjusting your behavior um, too, but to point. unexpected change, okay? Number four, it's seven of them, y'all. Number four is working memories. Keep key information in your mind. That would, that's what you'll be using it, 
okay? Number five is self-monitoring. Self-monitoring. Self-monitoring is a, uh, a weirdness to how one is doing in the moment. You find yourself getting mad in the moment, you should ask yourself a question before you go on. It says, why am I getting mad, okay? <laughs> is it because nothing went my way? That's just a thought I had. Anyway, <laughs> number six, planning and prioritizing. Habakkuk 2, 3 tells us what to do. When God gives you visions and, um, and thoughts in your mind, you need to write that down. So, so some of y'all have diaries. Y'all have places, journals, where you write stuff down each day, what's going on in your life. This is where you write those visions and stuff down, okay? To set and meet goals. That's what number six is talking about, setting and meeting goals. Let me move up here a little bit. And then number seven says, the last one says, Task initiation. That means you're gonna do what you are uh, uh, do the, do these things that's on this list. Take action to get started on your task. That's what number seven is talking about. Take action to get started on your task. So, what is executive function? All right, let me go up here. These are this circle here is the executive functions that I had listed on the side. And that's all seven of them. And how you, how does developing your executive function skills support and increase your ability to succeed in high school and college, as well as in the career you chose to pursue? And I look at this as how do uh, these uh, executive skills help you prepare as a royal ruler and in uh, and, and the way you carry yourself in life? All right, so let's look up here what executive functioning is. And this is what helps you do thinking through uh, your dominion through executive functions. That's what you got to learn how to operate. Um, yeah. Executive functions. Uh, yeah. both, uh, when I said malfunctioning, oh, here y'all. Yeah. When I said malfunctioning and functioning, both you know, are expertise. used. I can hear y'all. Won't y'all mute if y'all gonna talk. Both terms are used a lot. The meaning is only a little different. The noun functioning usually means functioning incorrectly, not functioning properly. Includes that and also includes not turning on. So you could be malfunctioning functioning even if you're not working. So that means, you know how something come on, you, you try to plug it up and it don't work? That's called malfunctioning. functioning, all right? So if you're not doing what you're supposed to be doing, you malfunction. malfunctioning. So executive functioning are the uh, cognitive ability that controls and regulates of what we do in our day-to-day -day life. So you're supposed to, your, um, your reference point is supposed to be the spirit of God. Romans 8, 14 says, as many as led by the spirit, they are the sons of God. And so your day-to-day -day life is supposed to be functioning through the spirit of God. Now, the second part of this executive function includes the ability to initiate. The spirit is going to give you ideas, visions, um, uh, inventions, witty inventions. You need to write those things down. So you need to be able to plan things so that you can manifest it. So when the spirit gives you something, it's not going to do it for you. You It's giving you something to manifest. So you got to plan, organize, set goals, solve problems, regulate your emotions, and monitor your behavior, okay? And when we say monitor your behavior, we're talking about Proverbs 25, verse 28. It says, he that have no rule over his own spirit is like a broken down wall. Yeah. A broken down city without walls. You can look that scripture up in Proverbs 25, 28. He has no rule over his own spirit. It's like a broken down city without walls. And you are royal rulers. You are you have dominion authority. So you're supposed to be ruling your spirit. All right. All right. Let's see. So so far what I've given you, I'm gonna stop right here because I that's right. <laughs> I've gave you I gave you what uh dysfunctioning is. So you want to cut chop down something real quick because I'm gonna break y'all up in a minute. Um Chop down what some dysfunctions is, and I see some over here. Uh, 
you have trouble keeping your bedroom and book bag organized, uh, this is, could be in y'all in y'all lane. You have trouble. Uh, not even point. You have trouble transitioning from one task to another. Okay, <laughs> and you have trouble listening and following multiple steps. You know that's malfunctioning. That's the, now go back to the list which says uh, executive functioning. That's the proper functioning. It's impulse control, thinking before you act, uh, keeping feelings in check. Uh, uh, adjusting behavior to ex unexpected change. You don't. Um, you don't react to that. Uh, uh, keep key information in your mind. Self awareness to how one is doing in that moment, and setting and meeting goals and taking action to get started on a task. All right, here we go. We're gonna break up in a minute, and I'm gonna ask you about this function. We want to know how you are functioning. So I'm gonna ask you three questions. To, uh, uh, this is the question I'm gonna ask y'all when y'all go into those rooms. It's, it is, uh, how? give me three things of how you will function properly and give me three things of how not to be functioning properly according to what we learned up here. That's why I said take notes. All right. All right, let me go back up to the top here. Uh, I'm out of here. So here I am. I got. Let me see how many people is on here. Let me go to. Let me stop sharing. All right. I got one. One, two, three, four, five. Twenty girls on here. Hey, how you doing, Ed? All right. So. Um, Lionel and Kimi is going to be in room, uh, breakout room one. John and Miles going to be in breakout room two. And um, I'm going to have Tristan be in the breakout room. I'm, I'm going to put you in breakout room since you're all by yourself. Is Tri uh, Tariq with you? Yeah. He is. All right. And you're going to be in four. Two, one, two, three, four. All right, Tristan and Tariq, I mean, Tristan and Tariq will be in, and Alani and Kimi being one. John and, uh, let me see, I, I need that. I need some big kids with the John and, and Tristan and Tariq, y'all be with John and Miles. Y'all gonna be in break room number two. Um, uh, the Mars kids, break room three. And the Bennett's. <laughs> will be in Benton. I'm sorry. <laughs> Thanks for the correction. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna break y'all up. What break room is they in? I'm sorry. Uh, um, room one is for Akeem and Amp and Lionel, Tristan and, uh, and um, they're gonna be in, in in break room three. Okay. So I gotta create the rooms. The minutes and uh, who else I said, said y'all wasn't gonna be with? Y'all by yourself, right? So that's break room. I did it with my school. Uh, put that one there, and then I got time. I gotta, I gotta say, remember these names because the names are different on here <laughs> when I break them up. So I would put uh, Adelia Jackson with the add one room. Okay, break room two is Miles. I'll put y'all Thomas Effort. So I know which one y'all, who y'all are. I'm adding y'all to two. And then three is Dennis Ed. And then four is Mars Kids. Hey, Mars Kids, how y'all doing? Y'all so quiet on there. <laughs> All right. So I did do break room one, right? Name the break room. I did. Name it. Okay, break room one. I'm okay. Lionel. <laughs> I ain't know I had the name. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm running to edit. All right. All right, so and now y'all, all the rooms, opens all the rooms. Y'all going in your rooms now. I'm getting ready to break y'all off. Okay. Read it. Break rooms, read it. Okay. Sign. 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 
right. All right, go ahead into your break rooms. Now I want y'all to, uh, y'all should be together. So go in your break rooms. Here's the three questions that I gave y'all. Y'all got the questions? Mm -hmm. Three things of malfunction and three things, according to what I said, uh, that is functioning properly. The seven things on the list. Give me what you remember if you can't remember all three of them, okay? Wait, can you repeat what we have to do again? Mm -hmm. uh, the list I had of the malfunction up there on the post and uh, the list of the functioning of how we ought to be functioning. I need three things from one of those lists for each one, malfunctioning and functioning. Well, just give me what you got, okay? Okay, all participants have been invited to join break room. Radio, that's wrong one. Mm -hmm. How y'all doing in there? Let me go back to the break room. You doing this one? Hello, how y'all doing in this break room? Can y'all hear me? How y'all doing in the break rooms? Can y'all hear me? Okay, I'm going to come back here. Yeah. Oh, I'm muted. I shouldn't be muted. All right, so maybe I'll just out leave break rooms. Leave break rooms. All right, do your part. Don't, don't worry about him because I, I know what I'm going to to do with him. Meaning is now. Don't try to wake him up. Just leave him alone. Um, all right, y'all back. Okay, meeting is now. Y'all never went in? Uh, y'all never went in? No, but they was talking about it. Okay, well, I'm glad y'all was still talking about it. Okay, I'm still trying to learn how to work this thing. I thought it was simpler. Oh, I know, I know, trust me. <laughs> okay, trust me, all right. Know. So wait a minute, they still talking. You wanted to mute it? Yeah. How do you, they? You can mute it in this, and then in a few oh, minutes. Sorry. All right. And then we'll give it an answer in a few minutes. Sorry, y'all, if y'all didn't go in the break room. I'm still trying to learn how to work that part. But we're going to get it together by the next time. All right. So if y'all got some answers, just give me some answers. Uh, for th those who are ready to give an answer. Uh, about the uh, malfunctioning and the functioning executive skills. Uh, I don't remember what she was saying. Uh, uh, Y'all <laughs> ain't take notes. All right, anybody ready to tell me something? Oh, I'm muted too. Uh, let me see. I'm muted. I get muted. 
tell, can you? It says I'm muted. No wonder nobody couldn't hear me. Can y'all hear me? He said, Yeah. All right. Did you get anything, Kristen? How about John? John yes, I did. I All did. right, come on. Give me something because our time is running out. I got the, um, I got the, um, self awareness. I got self monitoring. I like how you need to be like aware of what you're doing. Right. And, and like, so like when you're about to do something, like think before you do it, like have like a, have like a, I don't know the right word, but like just be aware like of what you're doing before you do it. Right. Like know the consequences. Yes, that's good. That's good. Think before you act. All right. Anybody else? Miles, y'all got something for me? Yay. Can I go? Oh, no, 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 no. Sister, oh. no, can I go? Oh, Tristan, are you ready to go? I, okay, not, Tristan. That's, no, that's Tariq. Tariq, I'm sorry. I'm getting it all mixed up. Uh, When you come with the Lord, you're one with the Holy One. You one with the Holy One? Yes, Did you say and, that? Yes. Awesome. And just to be a flexible thinker and just to behave and expect a change. Oh, go ahead now. All right, that's good. That's right. Yes, then we have to apply these things to our life now, not just answer the question, but we need to do it in our life. Thank you, Trist. I mean, Tariq and Trist. All right, John and Mao, y'all got something? Let's go. I learned that God created us in our own image, in our likeness. In his own image and likeness. Very good. Thank you, John. What you got, Miles? Okay, Miles. Learn that when God created Adam, he, when he had the fruit, God let him to be a Uh, God, <laughs> God led them to be everywhere. Uh, 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 <laughs> you don't want to learn today. Are you sure? <laughs> <laughs> what do you say? God did what? It didn't complete the sentence. He didn't finish his sentence. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, that's good. At least he got something in there. He's trying to say something what he heard. That's yeah. good. So when he ate of that fruit, he was disobedient, and it caused uh, the, all the creation to so, be a groaning for us to be, be revealed. Yeah. The sons of God. God the, all the creation is waiting on the sons of God to be revealed. Okay, Miles? Okay. <laughs> okay. See, he, okay. when he ate the fruit, he called this. It was disobedience, okay. and it caused all of creation to go into groaning because of, of of what Adam did in the garden. That's what you're trying to say. Yes. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Very good. That's good observation. Thank you. All right, Denise, you got something? Um. Okay, I, I, I learned that as uh, one of the ways of functioning in an executive way is to, okay. uh, is to think before you talk. You have to have impulse thinking. You have, to, you have to think before you talk. And also being able to, to set goals and then yes. implement them. Yeah. So. Oh, yes. Thank you, Abby. Abigail. Yeah. Thank you. That's good. <laughs> Awesome. Did you get anything, Tainine? I might be saying your name wrong, but forgive me. <laughs> y'all get anything? I'm waiting on y'all. Oh. Um, listen to God. Uh-huh. Yes. 
Listen to parents. Yes. Awesome. Is that what y'all got? I don't Yeah, you listen to I the guy. Say that again. I am a ruler. Oh, that's right. You rule. You have dominion. Yes. Mm -hmm. Things that mouth function. Right. Keep book bag clean. Do homework on your own. Yes. Awesome. That's it. Oh, that's good. That's good. So the opposite is not doing that on your own. That would be malfunctioning. But the way you said it would be functioning. Okay, that's good. That's good. I'm glad you see the opposite of that. All right. So what we got in uh, Tristan and Y'all gave, yes, I got three people so far. Mars kids, I seen your note saying that y'all were eating. You would just, did you get anything? And y'all got to watch these black screens because everybody else is on the screen. Um, at least show your room. Yeah, I've been saying that uh, from, from the beginning. Don't have a black screen. Just show your room. Can y'all hear me? Thank you. Did y'all hear anything about executive function? Did y'all hear anything? Not really. Not really? All right. Y'all going to have to watch the recording then. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's important that y'all get this. Y'all have to write, write, watch the recording. Tristan, y'all, light that room up. All right. Thank you. And my Trini girl, that's um, Sister Abby. Abby got to learn how to do that, I think. <laughs> um, so all of y'all that's on here, thank y'all for being here. I hope that you got something out of today's lesson. Mm -hmm. It's really a part four to this because I always get so much. But the next time I have to teach, I guess I have to do part four to this. All right, because there's more to it. Um, so take notes, keep your, keep your notebook together. So when I come back, y'all say, have y'all have part one, part two, part three, this is three. And then next time I have to teach, I'm gonna do part four. All right, so. Uh, keep those things in mind and practice those things in your life. We're not just giving you stuff just to write down stuff. Uh, you need to be doing this in your life. You need to do this in your life. Okay? All right. So we're at the end. So we're going to pray and we want to ask uh, one of y'all to pray us out. I want to thank everybody for being here. Thank y'all for your attendance. It's such a blessing that y'all are here. <laughs> All right, so who's going to pray us out? Which one of y'all rulers is going to pray us out? Yeah. And everybody raise their hand at the same time. Go ahead, Miles. Okay. Everybody <laughs> I drop hands, let the word up by us. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. 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 <laughs> Thank you, Mom. That was so Amen. good. Amen. Amen, Amen everybody. <laughs> so, Lord, when I see y'all next Sunday, God bless you. Don't forget, September the 30th, I'll be doing the Wednesday and Thursday nights, 7 o'clock, okay? Okay. okay. All right. So y'all take care and have a blessed day. All right. Love y'all. Love you too. Bye. 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 Bye.